Hi guys, okay, welcome to PCF. Okay, in this video, what I am going to cover, like the categorization of DAX, okay, the categorization of DAX, and then what are the functions are available in that each category, okay, in each uh, category, what are the functions are available, okay. If you go here, okay, these are the DAX functions categorization. There are some other DAX categorizations also, some mathematics and uh, statical functions, but uh, but we don't require, okay, if you are coming from financial background, okay, come, uh, if, you, if you have a new project, uh, financial background, okay, we will have that, but so the total, total, okay, total DAX functions we have like this, okay, so if you go to the date time functions, okay, what are the functions we have, okay, so what are the functions we have, date time functions, okay, if you click here, okay, if you click here, so you can see the, what are the date time functions, okay, year, month, quarter, and date, okay? So year, quarter, month, date, week number, weekday, calendar, calendar auto, now, UTC today, and then hours, minutes, seconds, so on, so are there, okay? So these are the date functions we have. And then if you see, okay, so what is DAX? DAX is a uh, collection of functions and operators, right? So we required operators also. That is the reason, okay? So the operators are we have, okay? So we have uh, arithmetic operators, comparison operators, text operators, and logical operators. Okay. If you go to the what are the arithmetic operators we have? Okay. If you uh, click on expand button, there is a plus minus. Okay. Star and then okay. Star is mainly for multiplication. Okay. If you see the examples, okay. Three plus three. So how much answer? Six. Okay. Three minus three zero and three into three nine something. Three by three zero. Okay, something like that. Okay, it will give arithmetic operator. Okay, from your childhood, you are clear with this. Okay, arithmetic operators. Okay, so we are learning from our childhood, right? And then comparison operators also equal to greater than. To compare something, we'll go with the equal to greater than, less than, less than or equal to, uh, and then not equal to. Okay, so suppose you want to only the region US sales. Okay, then we'll go with this. Okay. So this comparison equal to, okay, if you want greater than, okay, so after this date, okay, after uh, John 2009, uh, sales amount, if you want to uh, do the sum, okay, you can go with that, okay, uh, less than 2019, okay, so 2009, if you want to uh, do the sum of sales, um, you can filter it out, okay, you can compare and then, okay, so the sales amount greater than or equal to 20 is the highest sale, something like that, if you want to, okay, 20,000, then you can go and then compare, okay. So you can compare and then the profit is less than or equal to 100. That is a low profit. Okay. You can compare and then you can give some results. Okay. Not equal to USA. Okay. Region not equal to USA. Then we will go with this comparison operators. Okay. And then text operator, we have only one that is ambassent. Okay. Ambassent is mainly used for, mainly used for what? To concatenate the text. To concatenate the text, we will go for the ambassent. Okay. These are the, uh, okay. This is only for concatenation operator okay again so there are logical operators okay what are the logical operators we have ampersand double ampersand double pipe and in okay for uh, double ampersand is just same like a double ampersand same like a what so and and logic okay so when region is equal to france and the bike seller is equal to yes then only it will okay when the two conditions are true it will give the true results yes okay when the two conditions are true, it will give the true results. And then double pipe, okay. Double pipe is mainly uh, used for the checking the condition R, okay. So everything, okay. So just I'm giving brief about the operators here, okay. If you want to know about the more about the, uh, like um, practically we'll go uh, from tomorrow onwards, we'll go practically, but just what are the topics we have? And uh, what is the brief about that? Okay, we can cover here. And then logical functions. Okay, even uh, some of the functions are already covered in my uh, YouTube channel. You can go and watch those. Okay, so these date time functions and operators, like everything I covered there. Okay, you can go and then see that. Okay, even logical functions we have if switch and are false, true, false, and then if error. Okay, if means okay, if you want to only one condition. Okay, you can go with the if condition. Okay, it's uh, like uh, if it is true, it will give one result and false, it will give one more result. Okay, when we have a multiple conditions to be checked, then we'll go with the uh, switch 
and then and condition again uh, what are the and operator here we have ampersand operator so the same way uh, and also but that operator and this function is different okay this is can handle at a time only one but logical operator can handle more than one way okay like here r also same okay when we have the uh, two two results any anything okay if you are logics okay anything one is true then it will give the true results if any of both of uh, when both of failed okay so it will be failed okay so here my main intention is not going with the uh, explanation with the all function but i am just categorizing the functions guys okay what are the dax function just uh, give a uh, brief about all functions at a time okay so that is the reason i have created this graph here so that uh, you will understand like what are the dax functions we have and uh, so everything okay so this is the dax and then these are the categorization so so if you see the aggregation functions you can see some sum x count count x okay these are the aggregation functions okay count a count a x blank distinct blank count blanks okay min a min 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 a min x max max a max x and average average okay, average x okay these are the aggregation functions we have okay these are the aggregation functions we have and then if you see the filter functions okay if you see the filter functions okay these are the filter functions we have okay so all all except okay all all except and all selected calculate table calculate filter filter functions and these are the so if you see the all okay what is the definition of all okay it removes or not allow the filter that may be uh, inside or outside the filter okay if you see the syntax of that uh, all okay so this is the all okay in calculate we will use that okay all expression comma so in the filter section we will use that all okay that may be table or columns okay specified columns okay if you see the example of that okay after the syntax okay if you see the example to calculate okay where we will exactly use this okay to calculate the percentage of so we'll go for all name okay so something like that okay so we'll uh, okay we'll go one by one by using this tool only okay so i'm using this tool okay but uh, this is mind map guys okay so people can uh, fix their things in mind very clearly so that is the reason i'm using this tool okay hope you are excited so these are the different types of functions okay it will go here and this will give the definition and then okay so again i will give the syntax and then example okay so the same way for all functions okay so we'll go one by one uh, from tomorrow onwards okay so it will give a uh, brief about the all functions and uh, okay even time intelligence functions parent child function relationship function okay what are the relationship functions are there cross filtering and related related table and user relationship function okay and uh, if you go to the table manipulated functions what are the table functions we have calendar calendar auto uh, calculated uh, calculated table okay. okay calculated table and then filter uh, all summarize summarize column top and union value and tree test okay these are the table functions we have and then some information functions okay information functions it's always give the true or false results case okay contains row contains contain rows contain string okay contain exact as an uh, filter and as an value okay each blank is empty so it will check okay this the contains means whatever the string you have given okay whether this is okay there or not okay it will check and then it will give the true or false results okay so whether the uh, column given column is blank or not okay given value is blank or not okay is given um, uh, column or value is empty or not okay something like that it this will check okay these are that is the reason these are information functions those are check the things and then it will give the information and then parent chain functions okay we have path path contains okay for dynamic rls we'll go for the parent chain functions okay for dynamic rls we'll go for the parent chain functions okay there are time intelligence functions like date add okay so dates between uh, dates in period date uh, dates mtd dates ytd dates qtd something like this okay so these are the dax functions we have okay uh, so hope you got idea what are the dax functions we have okay if you like video guys okay if you excited or uh, okay you can uh, comment it and then you can share my video okay we'll go one by one okay so my main intention of this video is 
like what are the DAX functions? Okay, we can see at a time all of them in one area, and then okay, by expanding that we can uh, see the like what are the uh, different types of functions have having each category. Okay, that is my main intention of doing this video. Case okay, hope you get benefited out of this video. Okay, if you really benefited, okay, just type your comment and then okay, so that I can create like uh, these types of videos uh, in coming. Uh, Days, days okay coming days if you excited if you comment it or if you share my video definitely i will post this type of video okay hope this will be useful for you okay thank you guys okay we'll see you on tomorrow